Hi girls, today is going to be, sorry I keep saying girls because I'm so used to just doing beauty and fashion videos but I know there might be some guys watching these videos too so I should stick to my hey guys intro. Hey guys, let's pretend that first bit didn't happen. Today's going to be another advice video on law of assumption. I'm trying to think of, I feel like I've covered all the main points and kind of overarching themes and topics like self-concept, um, you know, how to manifest an SP. There's so many intricacies and complex kind of subtopics with manifestation. Although the process is really simple, it's literally just repeat and persist in your affirmations and positive thinking. That's literally the foundation of manifesting. There are a lot of points of advice to remember and kind of do's and don'ts if you want to manifest really quickly and easily. So that's what my videos are here to help you with. Please do thumbs up and subscribe if you like these topics, if you want me to keep going more in depth with Law of Assumption, talk about my personal experiences and everything, then yeah, do thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, because I have co I have new videos coming like every other day. I'm trying to film every day, which is a big commitment, but it's going pretty well so far. For the past, I think, three or four days, I've been consistent with that, even though I've been super busy. So I'm really excited to keep talking about this topic. I also offer coaching services. So I have a kind of uh, Instagram page dedicated to this where I post more because it's separate from my main Instagram. It's called LOA Coaching. That's the name. That's the username. It's just one word. And all the information is there. I post a lot of extra videos and advice and captions with, um, yeah, just advice basically from Neville Goddard and things like that. So do take a look and follow. And yeah, if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, I would love to help you guys. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Again, I have notes written down just so I remember what I want to talk about. The video isn't too messy and too back and forth with all sorts of, you know, points coming to my mind because I can ramble a bit. I'm a Gemini, so I'm very talkative and I can just literally flip from one topic to another. So first point that I wanted to discuss about speeding up your manifestations. So first point is talking about victim mentality, which I wasn't really focused on until I saw other coaches discussing it and it kind of, and just people in general who do manifestation. And I think we've all been through that, especially at the beginning before we started consciously manifesting when we were in that really negative state, not having what we wanted. I'm sure we are all feeling sorry for ourselves, feeling frustrated and fed up and like, why is this happening? Why do I always have this? Why is my relationship with this person always so bad or whatever? We've all been there and I think I'm, you know, I probably do have days or moments where I get back into the victim mentality and I start feeling sorry for myself and blaming other people when, of course, we can do that. If someone messes up, you have every right to, you know, put that responsibility on them. But at the same time, you need to know that the solution and the fix comes fully from you. You have to be in control of getting that solution um, to whatever situation or relationship issues you have. So it can be, you know, you know, a bit on and off depending on your mood. We're all human. So don't worry. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to constantly just be completely zen and forgiving. And, you know, you can have moments where you feel sorry for yourself. Basically, you're only human. But for the most part, it is important to try and consciously act upon, you know, taking responsibility and control of your life. So yeah, for the most part, just remember that you are in full control. Do not play the victim in your own mind. Do not sit there questioning things, asking and trying to analyze, why is this person doing this? Why does this always happen? Don't do that. Just be like, you know what? It's because I somehow created it. That is the reality, that is the truth. And we need to accept that. And then I think with that, we can kind of move forward for ourselves individually and just know that, you know, you can leave that victim mentality behind. So it's basically just, yeah, remembering and understanding that you are in full control. You are the master of your reality. There is nobody else with free will in your reality, which is perhaps a topic some people might not have heard of, or especially with law of attraction. Uh, this is absolutely not what they teach, so that's why it took me literally like two bloody years to manifest with law of attraction. But the point is you are the only person with free will in your reality. That's why Neville Goddard discusses the topic of being the God of your reality. And I like to refer to it as master of your reality. I just personally, I'm not comfortable calling myself God, but you do you, whatever it works for you. The point is that it just means that you are the kind of, I guess, puppet master in your reality. You're the one who controls 
how people act, the situations that come about in your life, the experiences, events and emotions that you feel. It can take a lot of time to fully get it all under control, to, and to be able to manifest to a point where automatically or very quickly your emotions turn to positive emotions like happiness, excitement, gratitude. It can take time and it will probably, sorry, I think I've got a hair. Oh, it's tickling my nose. I think I've got like a makeup brush hair. Anyway, okay, I forgot what I was saying, but the point is, you just keep building on it, keep persisting. Persistence is what will bring you the results. So the more you affirm, the more you think positively, the more you'll get into that state of being God, right? I don't like to use that term, but that's essentially what it is. Being the master of your reality, it will. you will eventually get into that state of power, feeling powerful, knowing that you have manifested all these amazing things in your life recently. And yeah, just understanding that to an extent, you do have to take responsibility for the bad things that happen in your life, the fights and issues that you have with people in your relationships. It is up to you to change your assumptions and beliefs and put those new positive thoughts into your mind. That is essentially how you get out of the victim mentality. Perhaps also just studying a li little bit more material um, from Neville Goddard or you know, Florence, what's her name? Florence Scovel Shin, uh, whatever law of assumption, or even Joe Dispenza, he has amazing like quantum physics, neurological scientific data that backs up manifestation. So whoever it is, that, whoever it is that you want to turn to, to kind of expand your knowledge, whoever it is that you want to turn to, to expand your knowledge and get a better understanding of how to get into that state of power and really understand and kind of take in that knowledge and understanding based on literally how the law works, that you are the only one with free will in your reality. Because I can say it to you, but it might not fully click yet. You might need to kind of take some more time to yourself to think about it, experience it yourself by manifesting more and more. So yeah, again, like I said, it can take a bit of time to get out of that victim mentality, get into your state of power and full confidence and be a master at manifesting. Just see yourself as like this really powerful creator because that is what you are, that is what we all are. So a little, a little extra point of, in terms of like affirmations that you can do and little, I don't wanna say techniques, but it is an affirmation technique that you can do to help you get into that state of power knowing you're the master of your reality. You can manifest anything you want. No one else has free will. You control everything is to rampage. Do a little five minute timer on your phone, 10 minute timer, whatever you want. Just set aside a little bit of time in your day and just do a rampage out loud. If you need to go for a walk outside to be able to get peace and quiet and do this out loud, you can do that. I've done that. I've gone on a walk by, by myself and just rampage my affirmations. So I recommend doing a little rampage. It gets you just like, I don't know, like all confident and excited and get, get you into this like, get you into this like boss mood where you just feel like you're, you're so powerful. So just do a little rampage about manifesting abilities. And um, yeah, if you guys want some advice on what specifically to affirm for this, let me know. I can do a video of how to rampage. Actually, that's a good topic. I think I'm going to talk about rampaging next. But yeah, you want to say things like, I'm the master of my reality. Everything I want is already mine. No one except me has free will in my reality. The 3D is 100% malleable in my hands. I can change any person or anything to be exactly as I want. Th things like that, like you can rampage those if you like them. Um, or if you don't wanna do a rampage, you can just add them into your general affirmations. Just affirm them. If you're feeling like really down and sorry for yourself, you're just having a bad moment and you're questioning why isn't my SP doing this? He always ignores me. He's always like this. Why does he treat me like this? I don't deserve this. I understand, I get it, you're human, but it, for the sake of manifestation, you can't stay in that state. You have to click yourself out of it and do a rampage, do an SP rampage and mix in your manifestation moves. Be like, SP has no free will. He, she cannot go against what I want. They have to conform to my affirmations. He is immediately conformed because I said so and I'm the master of my reality. So those are little things that you can add in. Um, yeah, so I recommend 
on top of like just understanding it and maybe watching a few more videos from coaches or reading about Neville Goddard talking about being the god of your reality, just engage with that kind of content so you really fully understand it and can embrace it better because it took me having to read a lot of people's success stories and advice from coaches to really understand that I shouldn't be worrying about anything because I am the master, I am the one with free will Everyone has to conform to whatever assumption I create about them, right? So that should help you kind of calm down and get into that state of power. And then adding in the rampaging and affirming will just help even more. So hopefully this was helpful. It wasn't too planned out, so hopefully it wasn't too rambly either. But I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.